Why are you writing a book for children? If you're interested in finding out what a child is going to get from your book, then keep watching. I am about to spill the beans. Hello Space Cats, I'm Jules. If you've just stumbled across the channel in a miasma of swirling YouTube flicks, then fortune has struck. I have been writing and illustrating children's books for as long as I can possibly remember, maybe even further. Point being, I know about books and I know about reading. If you're the author or an illustrator of a book or you're hoping to become one one day, good news! We are about to get into the nitty gritty of why you should. It's very on vogue to talk about your why when you're embarking on a project. And to my English ears, this means finding your motivation. So the conversation might go something like this. I'm going to write a children's book. Okay, that's great. Why? Because I've had a really good idea. Okay, but why do you want to make it into a book? Because I want people to read it and like it. Why? Because it makes me feel good. Why? <sighs> because the child will get something out of it. Aha! So your motivation is that your child will glean something meaningful to them. But why not just make an audio book or become a storyteller? Because I want them to read it. Double aha! So your motivation is that your reader will glean something meaningful and that they will take part in the vital activity of reading. Let's take a look at why reading is important. Imagine yourself back in the day when the majority of people couldn't read or write. In many ways, it segregated the scholarly person from the common person and it fed the ideas of class. When the school system started and children were taught to read and write from an early age, the world suddenly became a much bigger place. Reading expands your understanding of the world. Once when you were a four-year-old, you might have imagined that everybody else was just like you and your family. But with books, you can experience things like elephants in Africa and children going to school in Japan. Learning to read makes children use their imagination and stimulates their curiosity. It helps hugely with vocabulary and it gives them confidence in the ability to use words. Reading helps children learn how to listen. Small children naturally jump from one thing they want to do to another. But if they are listening to a story, they want to find out what happens next. So they do listen. It's a really, really important skill to learn. Reading together and looking at how a book works, like where to start on the page how to turn it over to see the next bit of the story is all preparation for the written word. It's the next stepping stone. Looking at your book will help your reader's brain develop as well as boost the child's social and communication skills, especially if the adult is engaging with the child and asking questions about the story. Evidence suggests that children who read develop a better vocabulary, have an increased general knowledge and have a better understanding of the world and its cultures. But why is it important to get children reading picture books? Well, hopefully your reader will have been given board books and cloth books as a baby. But as they get to reach that sort of age between two and three, they are naturally wanting to move on to picture book styles. It's a key time for understanding about reading and writing. Although, of course, a child of that age won't actually be able to read the words, they will be reading the pictures and they will be linking the story that they're hearing with those pictures. As anyone who's had a small child will know, they know when you've skipped a bit of the story because they will remember. If you think that this stage is not really that important and children go to school to learn how to read, then you are wrong. This is a vital, vital stage. And if you leave it too late, it is kind of hard to catch up. This is why pitch books are absolutely crucial. I'd go as far to say that this is actually the most important stage of reading. It's the foundation block for everything else. So children start reading with pictures. Then they will remember the stories and repeat them, making sense of combining the story and the picture together. At some point in their first year at school, they will be learning letters and short words, followed by putting those words together to form short sentences. It is often at this point that they will go on to start reading longer books and eventually chapter stories. 
My final point is the reason that you should write your children's book is because of the relationship that it garners between the child and the person reading to them. Be that their parent, grandparent, school teacher, sibling, being read to is incredibly special and it fosters a connection like no other. Two people being on an imaginary, magical world together. Talking about the journey like it's a real thing and wondering what's gonna happen next and looking forward to tomorrow night's story. It makes a bond like glue. Of course, reading doesn't have to be just about your book. Children learn to read by looking at signs and reading recipes and uh, information booklets. But my feeling is that picture books are exceptionally important. And if you want more motivation on why you should write yours or read more books to your children, think about how it affects their view on the world and how they interact with it. If you need any more reasons to get going on your idea or indeed find the nearest child and read to them, then have a look at some of my other videos on drawing, planning and publishing. And if you need help with how to illustrate your book or what decisions you need to make about publishing, then I'll leave the link to my course, which will be in the description box below. It's like a one-stop shop for all of the things that you need to know once you have decided you have written a story. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful and groovy. It shows YouTube that you like it. Share the love. Remember, whether you are writing picture books or early readers or mid-grade with chapters, you are doing something more than just important. You are doing something vital for modern day society. So give yourself a high five. Next week we are drawing dogs together, so I'm off to learn to woof. I will see you next week. Nanu nanu!